This is Margaret in Windsor, and um, I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 1941 and brought to the uh, United States to Moulton, Alabama, what soon became headquarters for NASA in Huntsville. That's Redstone Arsenal, etc. So my kidnapping involved illegal treaties being made, allowing the United States to place military bases all over British soil and hold the Brits hostage as me. I'm Victoria II. My father is King Edward VIII, who married Claudia O'Keefe, um, Georgia O'Keefe, the artist, is my aunt. My own uncle George, which is Elizabeth's father, helped take down his own brother illegally. I mean, my father was married to my mom, and uh, some of the family didn't like it because she was considered a commoner back then. And also the New World Order, the uh, Rothschilds and Rockefellers, Roosevelt. Uh, Joe Kennedy was ambassador appointed by Roosevelt during that time, and they helped in my kidnapping and taking down my father, which all of it was a lie and a 99-year seal. Now then, I'm watching TV. I was just uh, doing tapes about mind control. And I've been on YouTube. I've put the videos up, a lot of them. I'm on Facebook. And I have told about mind control murder since, oh, way back before 1970. But I wrote a book in 78, and uh, Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and the person was programmed to shoot him. And uh, later I became a candidate and was in a congressional campaign uh, to replace one of the doctors I wrote about, Larry McDonald, when his plane was shot down uh, en route from uh, Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea, August the 31st of 83. And by the way, all this involves patterns. Ten years later, Diana uh, was killed in the uh, crash. So that's part of what I want to get back to. I was kidnapped and given the name of twin. If I've said that, excuse me, uh, Peggy and Dempsey, I married the children. Both twins, Carl and Peggy, were dead. They were killed by their psychopath, unwed mother. And I grew up in a pigsty and so abused that you can't believe it. Now then, um, I did the book, and I only found out about my kidnapping in 19... Um, 83. Uh, I was flown out to France, and his uh, limo driver was with British intelligence. And the Brits are the ones, and the Germans. And I look back, and there is a count that were with me that was, uh, you know, I don't want to say some of their names. They helped me. I do not want to cause them any pain. Uh, he worked with me, uh, which was totally, you got a count from Austria that's over here working as a... <laughs> No, no, no. I checked him out after I found out who I am, and he's legit. He's a count, Von, and that's all I'm going to say. But my family, um, the Windsor sold me out, part of them. Part of my German family helped me, and the citizens of Great Britain and the British. So now that I'm sitting here, and I've just turned the TV off, I've been trying to put the mind control and all that on uh, the video again, and I watched Kate and her baby, George, who they named after uh, George the Sixth, who helped kidnap me, Victoria the Second, the real monarch, and take down my father, his own brother, illegally. He uh, sold out Great Britain, signed illegal documents, uh, treaties allowing the United States to put their military bases all over Britain, and they've even got an Area 51 in Australia, the United States has. Now then, Elizabeth has continued it. She's part of the New World Order, Illuminati. And uh, her son Charles is. Now then, what they're doing is they sold out the British. I am the legal monarch, and if they ever show, if I live to see them show what's been done to me and to my kids and to the British it is so horrific, and yet Kate is wearing, they're using my money. They've sold out the British, but it's also my money, and here I am 
I have been tortured beyond belief, and my son, Mark and Scott, God help if they ever show what was done to them here. Mark is the legal heir after me, and then Scott. Beautiful young men that have been tortured because of who their mother is and who they are, the legal heirs to the British crown. You've got the so-called monarch, Elizabeth, and her brood, who have done nothing but use my money and sell out the Brits to live a lifestyle that everybody wants. And it's lovely to watch. It's not lovely to watch the real one climb the Appalachian Trail in midwinter, uh, freezing and starving and begging, and, and begging on the side of the road, and I'm leaving out all the rest. You can't put it on here. The laws have been broken and the torture. And I sit here trying to put on another tape, which really is, I've tried to tell people about what's happened and what's going on with mind control and me, what's been done to me and to the British. And to my mom and dad, they never got me back. Uh, my father, well, I've put that on here. I, it, it's beyond me to watch Elizabeth and William, who um, is kind of Elizabeth, she's really good at it, <laughs> oh boy, uh, at orchestrating it all, I have to say that. She should be in prison. There's no, outside of God, there's nobody that can make these people pay for what they have done to a country and to me. And how dare them wave the Union Jack when they have destroyed everything in their path to destroy Great Britain. And they've done a damn good job of it. For her to be met and call royalty, you want to see what they do to royalty, how royalty is treated? Put your camera over here at me, <laughs> and you'll see how royalty is treated. But um, they got William. So William and the baby George, again, named after my uh, uncle that helped kidnap me and take down Great Britain and take down his own brother. The King's Speech made him out to be a good guy. The problem with all this is the Rockefeller media, which helped kidnap me, the New World Order, Illuminati, controls the media. You haven't heard any of the truth. You heard none of the truth in the King's speech. Um, and now that I'm watching this, and it's more than I can take to watch it, uh, to know what was done to my son when he was born and ongoing to my children and me, it is so hideous. But then you go back, Charles and Camilla. Okay, Camilla is a divorcee. She's Catholic or was. This is one of the reasons that supposedly my mother was not fit to be the Queen of England, which she is anyway. She married my father. The whole thing was a fraud. And then to say, use an imposter to marry Wallace Simpson and uh, become the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which was a total lie. 99 years still put on the whole thing. What did they want to cover up? It took 99 years. And I was born in 39, kidnapped in 41. And as far as I know, there's a birth certificate for me there. All you'd have to do is DNA, but make it legal, not like the one they did to Anastasia. And it really was Anastasia next door here. I'm in Roanoke. And she was in Charlottesville. And the Blue Ridge Mental Health killed her. Her husband was a professor there. She's my cousin, second, third, um, Zara Nicholas's daughter. Uh, so they killed her, and her husband was trying to get her out. They had her there illegally, and they had a, an attorney. I mean, her husband was a professor there at, at the University of Virginia. They had an attorney appointed. Uh, his last name was Preston, I believe. And get this name, Althea. You get into a name game. And I'm not going to go into that right at the moment. I lose touch with it. Um, but she was really Anastasia. And so DNA, unless you can do it legally, it doesn't mean a thing. When you're playing uh, with these kind of people, they can do anything they want to, believe me. But the British have told me, if the media is not going to tell it. Ask yourself why the media is covering Elizabeth. They don't cover the rest of the royal family over Sweden that are 